It's time to see what's next. Hello and welcome to Upside Down. Today I have very exciting news as Epic Games just released a tech demo for the Unreal Engine 5. It's absolutely insane, they are showing tons of great new features that can change the whole game development industry and bring it to the next level. Let's go through the list of some of the features and new things that are coming. Also I want to share my thoughts and concerns regarding everything that is new. Let's start. First let's start talking about the new light system or as they call it Lumen. It's a fully dynamic light system which gives very accurate light representation as we can see from the demo and we can see also that the GI has some serious functionality behind it and is being updated in real time so that whenever your scene is being changed you go from one place to another, your geometry is being changed or anything else happens around it it immediately reacts. Also I want you to notice that the quality of not only the GI but the light itself is extremely high. I'm really interested in the technology which is going behind and I'll for sure try to find more information and update you on that in future videos. Next part is about the geometry. As they show on the demo now you can directly put very high res models from ZBrush or Photoscan like the ones from Megascan or something that you did on your own right inside the engine and use it as it is without the need of creating LODs, without the need of baking, without the need of creating anything additionally so that you optimize the asset. You just make the high poly, after that you get it inside the editor and it works. This whole thing sounds like black magic. But it's also something that we will need to start experimenting for the workflow as it probably requires a whole new pipeline and understanding of how we are going to texture all the assets, how we are going to deal with all the memory that is required. So it's something that definitely is very interesting but there will be a big learning curve behind and it's definitely something that here on my channel I'll be looking into and giving you all the information and tricks how to bring high quality assets and start using them for games or cinematics. Of course it's not only about bringing very high quality assets on their own but assembling full scenes as we can see from the demo from what Epic are claiming they have tens and hundreds of billions of triangles that are being inside the scene. It's crazy to think about, but I've seen few years back another editor which was developing similar technology, but I don't think that it ever went to the developers so that they can start developing some products. So definitely I'm very interested how they're handling all the memory and all the necessary power that is needed to make all these calculations and to draw everything on the screen, as I assume that using so many assets that you can see inside their demo is creating quite a lot of draw calls. Epic are also mentioning improvements inside their particle systems. We can see through the demo a couple of places where rocks and other pebbles are falling down and all of them have physics and also they are interacting with the environment around. As well we can see some fluid simulations while the character is walking through the water. Of course bringing all the high quality visuals to the next level will be nothing so they are also improving the sound. I hope that this short video is informative and is bringing you up to date with the latest news that are coming from the game development industry. I strongly suggest that you watch the whole video from Epic Games, I will put a link down in the description. And you can be sure that I will be following everything which is happening with Unreal 5 as well creating tutorials so that I can help. Thank you for joining me today, I hope that you like this video, leave a comment down below what do you think about Unreal Engine 5 and see you in the next video.